Jimmy. Oh, man. <laughs> what was the question? Um, I think we just got back in transition. Uh, we were physical enough to make sure they didn't get to the spots. Um, and our offense was, you know, our offense helped, you know, us get back and set, have a set defense. But I think we did a good job of just communicating and being there for each other and, uh, you know, just making sure that we help one another. Gosh, darn. Oh, okay. That was, that was my answer. Jimmy, you want to answer? That's a different question. First off, I told you about using big words last time you did that. But I know you started in the offseason. You did that again. No, um, I don't know. I think that we've we've gotten a lot better. Leave me alone. Let me answer the question. We've gotten a lot better of knowing where the ball has to go, um, putting everybody in the positions that they're supposed to be in to be successful. Starts with, with Lowe here. Uh, Spo trust him as he should with the ball as of late and point people to get to their spots set a good screen, come off, make a shot, make a pocket pass, hit the guy on the baseline. Um, so our offense really looks good because there's no confusion of where the ball is going to be and where it's going to go. And uh, when we're like that, we can get back if we miss. Um, majority of the time we do make the shot, and we just happen to guard tonight, which is a good thing. And, and Colin, this team hasn't gone through a rough patch of a four-day losing streak. And especially a game like this, it seemed like Austin well, played so well. To have this kind of performance, what does it mean to this team now with just five games left before the playoffs? Um, this is a good win. Um, just you know, playing against the probably the hottest team in ABA. Um, <clears throat> it's a good win for us, a good test for us. Um, show that we can find ways to win on the road and win in hostile environments against um, well coached, well, well uh, talented team. Uh, so for us, it's just continue to get better and build and. You know, we know we got a minimum amount of time left, so we just got to continue to get better and, you know, lock in a little bit more. Ooh, yeah. Uh, uh, this guy? Pre-game? He said pre-game or post-game? Wait, what What happened? Oh, because I'm short and I foul. Well, I think with uh, Jason, he's you know one of the best players in our league, and you know you gotta you're not gonna stop him. You just gotta make you know, kind of annoy him a little bit, um, get under him, you know, make him you know a little bit get to his spots a little bit faster than he wants to. Um, you know, he has a seven foot wingspan, um, so you know defense. Just try to get into him and and you know counting your teammates to be there and and, and to help. And in offense, you know, you just gotta kind of make plays. You know, Bam did a great job tonight setting amazing screens. Um, Devin set some great screens and just getting those guys off me and, and giving me an opportunity to score the ball. They are going to anger. He seems so active in the team for you guys in the end. He's always like that. And I think we rely on him a little bit too much at times and get away from our tendencies and what we're supposed to be doing as a unit because we always think that Bam's going to be there to cover up for us. We're getting better at that. Uh, Bam has been a fantastic defender all year long. You know, obviously his whole career, but whenever he's playing the way that he's been playing on offense, he's he's tough to guard. Um, he's getting everybody involved, getting out into the open floor. And then, of course, uh, like you said, he's the anchor of our defense. So he leads us in that, too. And on the threes and the run you're on right now, it, it seemed all season that you wait for the biggest moments and, and you know that the ultimate winning time is coming now. Um, just, just this rhythm you run out of three, is because of more practice, or is it just because this is the Don't worry about that guy. It, it matters most. Um, I'm just making – I'm shooting more. I'm shooting them, just making them. Just, you know, just getting ready to, um, you know, prepare for the moments that, you know, we, that I know that it's going to be big for us. And just – just playing, um, you know, all season I've been passing first and <clears throat> lately I've been looking for my shot a little bit more, but the job is easy when you, when you understand what you're doing and um, you're confident in what you're doing. And, you know, we just, for me, just playing is trying to make winning basketball plays. That's all that really matters. Best. Uh, what's the saying? Like, I don't know, like even a trash can gets a steak or something like that. Steak. Something like that. I got to see it. I, I know that he's capable of it, though. 
That that's what makes me mad. Is because now that you show people you can do that, you got to come out. and You got to do it every game now. You can't have like mishaps. And I I love that the fact that you show that you can guard, you can step in and take a charge, all of that. Say less, then bye. Set me up. I think having a like a a real life point guard that's a pass first guy who has lately said screw pass first, I'm gonna score first. Uh, it's good. Um, I miss going like hell. I like handling the ball. Tyler likes handling the ball, but having a guy like Kyle that's telling everybody where to go, knowing how to get everybody the ball, he can read when people want the ball. Shut up, man. I'm gonna be done anyways. Yes, we needed. Kyle Lowry, so thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys.